Fair play. The White House Friday defending President Trump's decision to pull the U.S. out of the global Paris Agreement to fight climate change. We've led with action, not words. Paris, truly, Paris at its core, uh, was a bunch of words committed to uh, very, very minimal environmental benefits and cost this country a substantial amount of money. But neither EPA Chief Scott Pruitt nor Sean Spicer could answer whether the president even believes in climate change. Where does he stand? I've answered the question a couple times. Yes, sir. Even if the Paris... Trump announced the withdrawal from the historic deal on Thursday, saying that participating in the pact would undermine the U.S. economy. White House officials portraying the agreement as a conspiracy to weaken American industry. The world applauded when we joined Paris. And you know why? I think they applauded because they knew it was going to put this country at an economic disadvantage. The exit prompting a mix of dismay and anger around the world. The European Union and China warned Trump on Friday he was making a major error by withdrawing from the pact. A number of business and industry figures criticized Trump's decision, including the heads of Disney, GE, Citibank, Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, Uber, Intel, and Google, while others focused on what it might mean to their trade. Germany's powerful car industry said Europe would need to reassess its environmental standards to remain competitive after the, quote, regrettable U.S. decision. As for the market, crude fell 1 percent on Friday, heading for a second straight week of losses on worries that the U.S. withdrawing from Paris could ultimately result in an overabundance of oil production.